Where the hell is my team? Aren't we supposed to be defending this thing? Whatever, at least I can finally get some peace and quiet. Oh. oh please god, no. I'm I'm to 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 this is crazier than a Texas rodeo. It's dead! I mean, spy, about time you showed up! Man! I can't believe you fucking idiots are arguing again! I'll stop arguing the day these jackasses get their opinions right! The only right thing you're gonna get is me right hook you emasculated preteen! Hit me then, bitch! You'll just miss with a shit depth perception you one-eyed freak! Oh, oh shit! Oh, Jesus, Jesus, fuck! Just stop! Everyone stop! And I'll do it again, you uppity little shit! Damn you, Demo. He may be a helpless degenerate, but he's still my son. You heard him. He was asking for it. At least now there's a chance that I beat some common fucking sense into his skull. And now there's a chance I might just put a rusty fucking knife in the back of your spine. What are you idiots up to now? So help me God. If it's about Fallout again, I'm killing every single one of you. I won't even bother making it look like an accident. Bah, spy. We were in me talking about Fallout, but we were... No, stop. I don't want to hear another word. No shit games are the worst thing to ever come into this base. Shit game! I'll show you a shit game, you continental fucking oh, shit. Oh, 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 Shut the fuck up! This is exactly what I mean. It's like everyone who plays this game even for a microsecond is transformed into a petty man child. Why can't you just enjoy things like normal people? I told Scout how Boone is my favorite companion and he had to get all funny with me. Ask me why I wasn't a Kate fan, as if I would ever even play Fallout 4. I just think you two have a lot in common. I mean, think about it. You're both junkies. You both clearly have anger problems. I mean, hell, her family even hails from the same backwater shithole that you do. She's Irish, you ignorant American fuckwad. How the fuck was I supposed to know that? All you raging alcoholics sound the exact same. Even if she was a Scots being angry drunkards is a blatant fucking stereotype. You dumb asses are seriously arguing over a bunch of imaginary friends. Did my little monologue mean nothing to any of you? Oh, stop you right there, mate. Moon may be a video game character, but his story is one of the realest things I've ever heard. Oh, cut the shit, Demo Man. You just want to travel with an anti-Legion character. You only love Boon because he confirms your biases. Fuck you, Medic. How can anyone in their right mind support the Legion after hearing what they've done to him? You're hyper-focusing on a single event. You're forgetting that the NCR has hurt a plethora of people as well. Remember Bitter Springs? Because your friend Boone sure does. That was a bloody accident. The Legion bases their entire society around killing and enslaving people. They can't be compared. Sometimes you need to get your hands dirty in the name of progress, Demo. That's what you've never understood. And in my professional opinion, his wife sounded like a total bitch. She probably deserved you it. You motherfucker! Stop! Come. It's not worth it. I really do need to win you off that alcohol. Jesus, I really hate you guys. This is why I prefer to travel alone in my games. I get enough moralisms and bickering in my real life. You're really missing out, Sniper. Companions have been called game mechanics since Fallout 1. Yeah, well, if they're anything like you pokes, then I want nothing to do with them. Oh, relax, Sniper. Not all companions are brooding edgelords. Take Raul, for example. He's what all companions should be. He's a reliable gun to fall back on when you need him. Plus, he's got the best drip in the entire game. He's got me at the point. Very nice. Ah, well, I must respect the drip. Doesn't the Wasteland have enough gunslingers, though? Why not go for a reliable Sniper? Sorry, mate. But the Mojave doesn't have enough room for two reliable snappers. Those weapons are like tiny pea sugars. Fists are more useful in game anyways. That's why Heavy prefers to travel with Veronica. Give her good power fist in your set for an entire game. Oh, finally in lawn, dumbass. Veronica's my favorite companion too. I always rush to the trading post so I can pick her up. Nah, she's compelling character. Her struggles regarding her homeland are relatable to me. I like how you can influence her decision to leave Brotherhood. Classic Fallout decision making. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't forget how she's easily the hottest companion in the game. Wait, seriously? Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, so that's why he's a Brotherhood fanboy. It's all making sense now. What? Is my opinion supposed to be controversial or something? She's cute as fuck. 
Give her the dress and she's Go. the perfect mix between tomboy and feminine beauty. Go. She gets my Go. dick hard every time. Are you jackass is really gonna sit Listen. here and try to convince Go. me that that bitch can't is bitter? Go! She is lesbian! I know, that's the hardest part! Of oh, course! Fucking God. This fucking kid, I swear to God. Greetings, maggots. Oh shit, it's soldier. Get the fuck out of here, soldier. You'll only make everything worse. <laughs> You're funny, Frenchie. But no, I'm staying. I heard something about lesbian tomboys. That shit makes my American eagle sore. Oh, it's nothing, soldier. We're just talking about our favorite Fallout companions. Sucker Blue! Don't talk to him, you fucking idiots! I know his game. He's just going to try to get a rise out of us! What the fuck is this blatant Ameriphobia spy? Am I not allowed to hold an opinion? Fuck you, soldier. I didn't hate America until I met you. All that pent-up anger will only destroy you, spy. Like the French defense in World War II. Fuck this. So you're talking about Fallout Companions. My favorite's got to be dog meat. Every Jedi's got to have himself a loyal canine. Look, soldier. I like puppies just as much as the next guy. But don't you ever feel like you're wasting your companion slot? Nope, not once. I challenge you to name something more wholesome than kicking commie ass with your doggy. Yeah, all right, partner. Does kicking commie ass with a fully upgraded sentry bot sound any good to you? Huh? Even in video games, he can't keep his hands off those fucking machines. Jesus Christ, engineer! I can't believe you actually spent money on that boring SDLC. It's coming from the person who bought dead money. What the fuck did you just say, you sister fucking oh, redneck? I don't know why you need to be so contrarian about everything, Demo. Building robots from scratch is some of the most fun I've ever had in gaming. Building anything in that game is just so bloody boring. I bought the game under the impression I would be playing an RPG. Not a city building sim. Now you're just inventing things to be upset about. The building aspects are optional. No, he's right. Why put yourself through the work of building a companion from scratch when you can settle for man's best friend? I'm a bit surprised, Sully. I thought you were going to bust in here and rave about Arcade Ganon. Arcade Ganon? What kind of dirty pinko do you take me for? Are you freaking kidding me? The American Jingoist doesn't like the Enclave guy. It's not that surprising. Arcade is a follower. They value knowledge and learning before all else. Neither of which soldier possesses. Exactly. Thanks for backing me up, Doc. Ah, uh, I think. I would sooner travel with Hitler and Stalin before that sissified lab coat wearing traitor. traitor. What the hell? Yes, traitor. He's always talking shit about the Enclave, acting like it was the worst thing to ever come into existence. Oh, come on, soldier. He didn't betray anybody. He's still good friends with the remnants. What is it with you, an Enclave soldier? Why do you want to join a faction that is objectively evil? First of all, comrade, I hate evil factions just as much as the next guy. That's why you'll never see me supporting the Legion or NCR. Yes, he has. What? Nothing American can ever be evil. It goes against the basic laws of reality. Oh, come on. And third, no matter how badly I may want to, I can never truly join the Enclave. The best I can do is scrounge up a bunch of PTSD ridden hobos. I don't care who makes the next game between Obsidian and Bethesda. All I know is that we need a proper Enclave faction we can side what with. What is it with you Fallout retards and wanting to join the Enclave? It's a dead faction. They should have stayed dead in Fallout fucking too. I love the smell of foreign butter in the morning. You guys are just scared of the idea of a resurgent America. But if all we have left of the Enclave is a bunch of whiny arcades and the cause is doomed, I mean seriously. You know it's bad when the NCR, who is enough for way tie for shittiest faction in a game, can wipe the floor with you. You know what, fuck it. You bitches want to debate Fallout. Let's debate some fucking Fallout. My favorite companion is Deacon. Literally, who? Are you fucking kidding, Spy? He's not a bad character, but he's not even close to being best companion. Oh yeah, why the fuck not? He is the only companion in the fucking game who understands the art of espionage. The rest of your shitty characters just run around killing things without thinking. No subtlety, no class. A close second would be Valentine. I respect his deductive skills, but he seriously let himself get captured by a fat fucking mob boss. Only the paranoid survive in this fucking world. Deacon would never fall for a trap. I've heard off. some strange shit since I started talking to you guys, but I never thought I would ever hear someone seriously praise the railroad there and boy. What the fuck would you know about companion taste? You run around with a PTSD riddled mess. Bone is barely any better than so. Hey soldiers. guys, you won't believe who's calling me. It's Miss Pauling. Miss Pauling! Scout, hang up that fucking phone. Don't do phone. it, son. Nope, too late. I'm putting her on speakerphone. Do not do it, Scout. Oh, hey, babe, what's up? I've been meaning to ask you something. Scout, whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Where are you right now? Oh, well, I'm, uh... I'm not defending the intelligence. Yeah, just like you told us to. Aren't we guys? Don't drag us into this, you fucking idiot. Oh, I mean, yeah, totally. 
I have a sticky trap set up and everything. I've got my dispenser set up as well as my sentry. Trust me, Miss Pauling. Nothing's getting past us. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not done. Done. Yo, we're good over here, Pauling. Nothing to worry about. We got this. Really? Because I've been trying to contact you guys for over an hour. The intelligence has gone missing. Guys, are you still there? Huh, now that's pretty crazy. Wonder how that could have happened. Pretty weird. Must have been a spy. You know how simple yeah, they can get. This assignment was top priority. The briefcase contained the launch guns to our private missile. What the hell? Why do we need a private missile? I helped design it. It's a contingency in case the Blues are ever able to gain the upper hand in our little war. Exactly. This particular missile is extremely deadly. Its blast radius is big enough to level an entire city. You know, I feel like I've seen something like this in a video game. Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up soldier. soldier! Relax! I read the art of war. I know exactly how we're going to steal the intelligence back from those petty-wearing blue scumbags. No, that's the weird part. Today is supposed to be the blue team staff. We managed to get a hold of their schedule, but the only thing contained on it was... Argue about stalker. Whatever the hell that is. Heaven knows what that is! Of course you do! So if Blue didn't take our intelligence, then who did? Why the hell would anyone else want our private missile? Attack? No! Not attack them. Wipe the slate clean. Make the Mojave like it was meant to be. Undisturbed by man. <laughs>